Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about nucleation and growth of benzene particles uh, using cryogenics. So I will just explain the triple point of benzene, how exactly it will behave. So now I will take a pen mode. Okay. So now this is a vapor phase, this is a liquid phase and this is a solid phase. Okay. So as the temperature is decreased vapor will be turned into a liquid at the pressure above approximately maybe 0 0.05 bar right so if it is like one bar in the atmospheric pressure conditions the vapor will be turned into liquid as you can see when the temperature is reduced but there is a point called triple point where all the liquids solid and vapor all the three phases combinedly exist now if there is a pressure and temperature which is below 0 0.05 pascal and below 279 so if this is the point right here when the temperature is reduced either with the constant pressure or with the decreasing pressure now vapor will be directly turned into solid so this is called a desublimation point where vapor is turned into solid right so now if you can somehow attain this state by turning the vapor into solid particles so we can convert all the toxic gases that are releasing into atmosphere due to any chemical reactions into solid and we can try to precipitate those solid particles using a thin mesh or any kind of uh, obstruction right so now we will try to simulate using uh, CFD software where we will turn this vapor or the benzene vapor which is below this triple point such that on decreasing the temperature or on same temperature if you try to increase the pressure either way right maybe at a temperature of 260 when you try to increase the pressure so there will be a condition where vapor turns into solid now this solid it is like you are removing the benzene vapor and you are turning into benzene particles solid particles so now you are trying to reduce the toxicity that is releasing into the atmosphere how can you attain this using a CFD software so that is our uh, main motto of this video okay now uh, like after these particles are formed when it's turning from vapor to solid so there is another chance that these particles once formed will also have the chance to grow in size so this size growth will depend on a term that is the amount of extra vapor maybe if you can take this as a cell in a CFD domain right when it meets the nucleation criteria nucleation criteria means once it crosses this line it means the pressure and the temperature at this cell if it is in the solid region temperature and pressure so the vapor will automatically need to turns into solid so now uh, as the temperature and pressure is above this solidus line then it will automatically turn into the particles so now for each and every cell in the CFD domain maybe all these cells it need to check for the condition whether the temperature and pressure are in this region or not so it need to transfer from this region to this region such that all the vapor will be turned into particles now the other point comes here is if there is an amount of vapor present here and that vapor having the pressure and temperature of this zone then how many particles should form right so that is the criteria that is called nucleation criteria so depending on that nucleation criteria so the number of particles form inside that cell will depend the other point the, apart from the nucleation criteria since the number nucleation of the number of particles that will form per second is one criteria and the other criteria is what is the minimum diameter of the particle initially it will start with right so these are the two things and after that the particle growth so the three points one is nucleation criteria that is number of particles that are forming per meter cube per second and the next one is 
what is the critical radius or what, that is the minimum radius of the particle that will form inside the cell and what is the growth of that particle inside the cell so these are the three criteria what we need to discuss upon so maybe then i'll just go to the and so you can just check this and just remove all this stuff so you can just see on the screen that is a saturation pressure which is the partial pressure of the uh, vapor that is present inside the cell and the actual sublimation pressure so the so sublimation pressure is the pressure that is present at this line right so this is the sublimation pressure line so this along this line wherever the point is present that is the sublimation pressure so when it crosses this line it turns into particles the pressure on this line is sublimation pressure and if the partial pressure of the benzene vapor is more than this pressure right so this is the pressure at that particular temperature maybe at a temperature of this 250 kelvin if the pressure is present more than the partial pressure mean more than this pressure this sublimation pressure if the pressure is more then that is called as super saturation yes so there is every chance that vapor will turn into particles so the nucleation criteria j is dependent on all these term so this is the molar mass of the benzene and s is the super saturation ratio super saturation ratio is nothing but the partial pressure of the benzene vapor to the sublimation pressure see so if this is greater than 1 only then you will get this nucleation rate this nucleation rate is nothing but number of particles n or number of particles n means n mo i will write it to 10 mo per meter cube of volume per second so these are the number of particles that will form due to this nucleation and when the nucleation happen the critical radius with which the particles form is this which is dependent on the surface tension of this vapor with respect to solid and the super saturation ratio again it depends on the super saturation ratio so when there is an s greater than 1 then you need to go with this nucleation criteria and with the critical radius as or the radius of the particles that are forming as with respect to this formula right so these two are met and the third one is the change in the diameter so the change in diameter and assuming as with this formula where it is nothing but 0.301 into square root of area of the existing particle into the partial pressure by benzene sublimation pressure minus 1 it's nothing but s right it's i am taking it as 0.0001 into area of a particle of the existing particle which is present which is pi by 4 d square into s minus 1 so this is the growth which which particle will uh, increase in its dia from the existing dia right so uh, this is a part one of the tutorial what you want to convey and yeah this is the geometry what i have considered in which air as well as benzene vapor combinedly are entering so air is having a fraction of 0.95 and the benzene vapor is having a fraction of 0.05 so these two will enter from this inlet and this inlet and there is a temperature variation that is varying linearly along the length the temperature is decreasing along the length so due to this decrease in temperature and that inlet which is having a fractions of 0.95 and 0.05 so there is a condensation or sorry it's a desublimation of the vapor into small small particles that you can see on the right hand side of the screen these are all the particles with different dia right so the particle starts forming and instead of the toxic benzene vapors releasing into atmosphere it is been desublimated into the particles and it is been 
staggered on to this walls right so all these particles will stagger on to the walls so the criteria for this is the super saturation ratio which is partial pressure of the benzene vapor present in each cell to the sublimation pressure should be greater than 1 and the size of the particle always grow with respect to the base critical radius and this is the pressure counters what you are seeing and this is super saturation you can see there is a more saturation present here so there is every chance that particle formation will be more in these areas right so if it is more red super saturation is more and here it is less red super saturation is less so it's, uh, it's very much uh, zero or uh, it's, it's, like, it's like less than one so there will be no super saturation there will be no formation of particles so this infers these three uh, images infers the words what I have stated now so in the second part of the video I will uh, go through the UDF as well as the uh, fluent setup how can we set this up and uh, run the simulation to get the number of particles and get the number of particles that are forming here on this side okay